uh, September the 10th, 2023. I'm going to be your host today. I'm Dana Durnford. Hope you're doing well on this beautiful Sunday we have here. Amazing Sunday. Temperatures about 100 degrees in this nuclear wasteland planet. Subscribe, like, notify, blah, blah, blah. So you know what kind of sucker I am for punishment. Um, I was going through 2018, 2019 headlines. And I was said, <coughs> I kept grabbing the headlines and throwing it in a folder. I'm a sucker for punishment. So when I got to around 3,500, I was like, eh, I better stop, I guess, because I was getting double vision. So I'm going to cover some of them for you today. So you can step back. Let's take the time machine back to the, the nuclear meltdown the first few years when the media actually done some reporting. And the outer got compromised or replaced by the nuclear industry. And that was uh, the end of the news cycle on the subject. And so we were fortunate to have it. We'll share it with you and try to bring context to the story, maybe, is a better way of thinking about it. And we can, there's many ways you can do it and bring you absurd, uh, so much documentation. You'll have to take a nap. Japan's crew facing a hundred year battle. It's more like a million years of battles. Uh, there's around, there was originally around 150,000 sites like this. And these are one ton bags of radiation. So every time you see bags of radiation, think Fukushima, they're cleaning, trying to, I don't know if cleaning up is the right word for it. It makes it, it does make a bit of a difference. And uh, I had said originally when this happened, they're going to have to pick up the topsoil from all of the Fukushima prefecture. And they gave up after 30 million one-ton bags. And about a week later, they announced this is what they were going to do. And 30 million one-ton bags that they emit to, now they dumped it in the rivers, they dumped it in the estuaries. People who had high radiation on their property were told it was theirs, TEPCO wasn't taking responsibility for it. And the list goes on. But for the, the media and the news reporters who allegedly reported from Fukushima that everything was fine, had to pass by millions and millions and millions of one-ton bags of radiation to get there, if they were actually there. And a majority of them was a green screen, it turned out, after. Every organism in Fukushima prefecture is contaminated with radiation. 1.4 million becquels, physical atoms, pulsing energy every second per kilogram. So you got to multiply it by around 64 to get a square meter. I should have brought more water with me. I'm going to pay for that. It's around 100 degrees here right now. It's like a big hair dryer out there. So this is the worm's excrement. Um, so that's that's the end of it. You never want to grow food in that environment because that's murder. Not just for the employees that are doing it, but the people that consume it. And the elderly and the children are a thousand times more vulnerable than the adult. So every time you see these bags in the background, that's the evidence that it's not safe. That's incontestable. It's unassailable documentation. Radioactivity of 14,000. And the reason we're seeing headlines like this is because they never stopped growing food and had fine ways to justify it, which were all by lies. And it turns out our number one enemy for all of these catastrophic events are universities, in particular professors. They're the ones who are used to bludgeon you into stupidity. 
into complacency. 14,600 becquels a square meter in a rice paddy soil is far from Fukushima to be sold in Japan, relabeled on another prefecture and shipped to your country. Canada removed all restriction on the nuclear wasteland, all of Japan, not just Fukushima. After 93 days while 55 countries banned it for a decade, so they had nowhere to ship it only to Canada, and we are reaping the diseases. There's 1,800 diseases. You see these stacks, the, the middle one got a tarp on it, but that's not going to stop it or change anything. Japan must be the only place in the world with several million becquels of radioactive isotopes, not millisieverts, not microsieverts, but isotopes, physical atoms, incomparable, highly radioactive blue algaes. And what do you mean by that is you're talking 10 to 20 million becquels a kilogram that you shouldn't drive past it, let alone have children standing there waiting for the bus, or even worse, walking to school. Fukushima City, they put 3,000 of these fake Geiger counters. And remember, they're surrounded by millions of one-ton bags, and that every house in that city was entitled to decontamination. But they couldn't, they couldn't get enough work homeless to do it, or the destitute or victims of society. But they did have enough employees to put 3,000 false Geiger counters to make the community complacent. It's, it's a whole different level of evil. And every facet of nuclear, that's what we see when we look retrospectively at it, is it's a whole different level of evil. They got away with it back then, but the evidence is still there, so why are they getting away with it now? Over 35% of young people tested for thyroid tumors. So the tumors are time better two centimeters. The thyroid gland is only three by five centimeters. You can't decontaminate by digging up one ton bags. J Japanese radiation expert, uh, don't just leave Tokyo, leave the country if possible. And Tokyo is 240 kilometers away it should be abandoned the same as all the cities and communities around Fukushima that were abandoned, and many still are. And the ones that they removed the restrictions, they can't justify it or quantify it with actual science. They're just evil and done it. Save our soul from the local official. I can't take it anymore. Black dust over 5.5 million becquels a kilogram. Five million atoms are going to multiply by 64 to get a square meter. And they're going to hold spring athlete meets, swimming pools opening. This is a... We've never heard of anything like this pre-Fukushima. Like, f you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55 was considered an evacuation zone. 5.5 million, they're going to hold spring athlete meets. And in order for the athletes to get there, they got to drive past millions of one-ton bags that are stacked in 150,000 sites. Now, Minima Soma is special because it's a it's a quite a ways away. It's a massive nuclear wasteland, and they actually had people uh, what what they call English teachers, if you want to call them people. They're not, I don't find them to be people after finding so many of these parasites. Here's one from New Zealand. Kiwi Fukushima residences area isn't dangerous despite the radiation. This is, why are you quoting somebody from New Zealand who teaches English to children? Uh, and we covered uh, all of these stories, of course. Kiwi, New Zealander Iris Riddle, who had lived in the region for two years, In Minnesota, 35 kilometers from the disabled, when the building is destroyed, you're talking endless documentation showing this is one great big stupid nuclear wasteland on top of that. 10 million becquels a kilogram multiplied by 64 to get a square meter. A Geiger counter would say run back the way you came. 
and leave the Geiger counter there because it's destroyed from all that radiation. Get rid of your clothes and shave your head because of the radiation. Minimum some uh, official highly contaminated black algae observed everywhere due to bioaccumulation, actually due to perpetual radioactive fallout. It's still going on today, 12 years later. Iris Riddle from New Zealand said, I thought it was a bit sensationalist, actually, from her home in Minamasoma, 35 kilometers from the nuclear wasteland. When, every time I see peach trees and they're picking up one-ton bags, it's so criminal, um, I can't understand why everybody's not as upset as I am about it. They don't understand nuclear, I guess, but... You should be terrified when you see a picture like that. It should blow your mind. The children there to sacrifice is Minamasoma official. The businesses forced the mayor to keep the children there in a nuclear wasteland, surrounded by nuclear wastelands. A million back was a kilogram of cesium, cesium for goodness sakes, after being decontaminated. That's Minamasoma. And by the way, that's what Riddell does. She teaches at the school, which is a nuclear wasteland. She's just a stupid English teacher. And the media threw her a few dollars or a lot for her to be quoted as claiming. Now, that whole place is surrounded by millions of one-ton bags of radiation. But here you got a f disgusting lowlife who teaches your children on top of that claiming it's safe so they can have their job there. People like that should be, should be a, like a real punishment for anybody like this. It should be definitely life in jail or death by hanging for causing everybody to stay there, get sick and die. That's murder. That's, there's no other way you can look at it. 70% of the children tested in Kanto, a region that includes Tokyo, have radioactive cesium because they're only checking for cesium, but if they were checking for the other isotopes, they would find them. Right, so they picked up these one-ton bags, these tens of thousands of one-ton bags you're looking at. This is all farmer's field. They left it there and then grew food. And the idea was people can move back in their homes. And a lot of these places like uh, Koryama City, they did surrounded, they, they would look out their window at any time and see one ton bags of radiation. So they, the Simpsons and Spider-Man and the Hulk actually worked. All that propaganda brainwashing over all these decades actually worked. Anybody stays, who denies that, you, when you look at millions of one ton bags and you, you're still in denial, there's something wrong with you. You're missing, your brain is, doesn't work. You're, you're literally a moron if you can't comprehend the significant the danger of that. You're literally got to be a fucking idiot to be that complacent. I'm tired of sugarcoating shit anymore, by the way. 13,646 do out of 38,000 with tumors. And again, that's 358,000 out of a million when you scale it up, which is, and pre-nuclear meltdown, it was one in a million. Oh, well, it's a big deal, Dana. I just dare not hear. Oh, you are very, very wrong. But there's clear evidence rates have risen. Before the disaster in 2011, the rate of thyroid cancer was between one and two cases in every million children. So one or two per million and 358,000 out of a million. How come you're not speaking out? You really think that stayed over there? You really think you're immune to it? You really think it's not gonna happen to you and it hasn't happened to you or your loved ones? You're, are you really that naive? Is there anybody on the planet that is that complacent, that gullible? It's not too late to learn. It's never going to be too late to learn, and you better start learning. 
This is a plume after 19 days. If you're in North America or Canada, United States, you really think you got away from it. If, if you're where I am on the East Coast, you really think you got away with this. You really think, because you can't perceive it or smell it or don't know nothing about it, that it, it magically went to somebody else instead of you. Are you that delusional that you actually believe that, anybody? Well, apparently there's a lot of people, that's what they think. They'll watch this video and it doesn't connect. It's like Russian roulette. Only 10% of school lunches in Fukushima are tested. You shouldn't be in food. Well, they can't. if they start testing everything, everybody runs away the next day. And they got to drive past millions of these to get to school each day to test the radiation and the food grown in the same area. Why are you testing them? The pa every parent that kept their children there should be arrested and charged with child abuse. Should never be let out of jail again. The parents are, all, are the murderers too because they refuse to acknowledge it or even open their eyes enough to see it. The local governments are testing school lunches after children are already eaten. You've got some serious problems when you're testing school lunches after they already eat. And they got to drive past all these abandoned communities each day to get to school, a lot of them, right? Radioactive dust, dust, in Tokyo fog, contamination never disappears, be careful. This is one of the scariest pictures you're ever going to see. This is rice fields. And they just left the bags right there in the rice fields themselves. I have a very hard time wrapping my mind around this one. Look at the radioactive plants growing out of it. They're growing food right there and shipping it to Canada and everywhere else. Japanese mayors says students are gaining knowledge by eating radioactive food in school lunches. Uh, where I'm from, the parents would just grab them and they would disappear off the planet, some of that evil. Don't be a chicken, Mayor tells the parents who are concerned their children are eating radioactive lunches in a nuclear wasteland. Like, how can you drive past a thousand of these places and not go back? How can you drive past 10,000 places like this and say there's no harm? How can you drive past 50,000 places like this and to get to where you're going in Fukushima and pretend that you're you're fucking magically immune. How do you drive past 100,000 spots like, like that? How, how do you drive past 150,000 spots like this, all these abandoned communities? How, how does that work? And, and then pretend that you're fucking somehow immune to this. This can't affect you. It's you're better you're better. How can you take a job selling the food grown in a nuclear wasteland? How can people pretend putting you in a paper suit somehow mitigates being in a nuclear wasteland? How, you know how? Because your universities have sold you and your soul and your loved ones out so they can get a paycheck and rape your children to get higher grades in school. That's what a professor basically does. Is their job is to rape your children, or even worse, again, turn them into monsters like them. The worst, the worst of the worst is a professor. That's what we unfortunately now have to deal with. The reality that our universities are, are not just schools of mass destruction, they're schools of mass hate and contempt. And they're disease factories. They, they're the enablers. The industry couldn't do this without their consent and their silence. And the nuclear professors, for instance, nuclear academics, after all these years of covering this, I can't reconcile that there's that many evil people making a fortune and they know what they're doing. They, they know their lies are genocide and omnicide. And they take absolute pride in their jobs of being monsters, disguised as professors, disguised 
as teachers disguised, as government officials disguised, as your fucking journalists. Officials, officials, officials. The stroke of a pen made it mandatory to use Fukushima rice in school lunches. Growing in a nuclear wasteland, abandoned, surrounded by millions of one-ton bags, and 14 prefectures where 55 countries banned the food. And I'm the only person that's talking about it. I'm the only person on the planet showing you pictures and headlines and everything else. I'm the only person on the planet doing that. How come? Surely the fuck if I can do it, anybody else can. Rice grown nearby Fukushima plant cleared for sale. The farmer says, I wouldn't eat it. We feel guilty growing it. あの、食品は現在農作物は出荷の前に全部検査しないと出荷できません。今は100倍くらいのイカっていうことになってますけれども、農家は生産しているわたしを守りますよ。これが何倍くらいあるって。放射能、要は100倍くらいのイカだったら
Because uranium-238 is the last one you're looking for. They're such scumbags that after all these years, I like to play a, a hockey game with them so I can smash them with the stick every chance legally I can get. Dude, these are just disgusting punching bags as far as I'm concerned. As far as you're concerned, too, if you're being realistic, or anybody's concerned, certainly the future will be concerned. The future generation, the current generation that's grown up will never forgive us if they survive this. And anybody that's up walking on these bags in paper suits, for instance, or anything else, are the homeless and the destitute and are getting brutal doses. And they're bringing that stuff home to their children and their loved ones every day also. It's a, dis what a despicable, revolting, gutless, spineless, soulless, creepy industry the people are in nuclear. And it's every facet, there's 9,000 facets of nuclear, and you'll see the same personality. It's literally like they can't get the job unless they're a monster. That's what you come to the conclusion eventually because it's the right conclusion. Berkeley professor, a very clear and present danger. New push to dump the radioactive Fukushima water or boil it in large kettles and release the stream steam into the atmosphere for many years, or do both. Or do both, says gutless, spineless, any professor you want to point a finger at is going to do the same thing to you. Every one of them. No exclusions. They hate your guts. That's why they get the job, apparently. That's the qualifications. No matter what happens in Fukushima, it's not going to be a problem over here. Any kind of release in Japan will be non-detectable here, says UC Berkeley professor. It's really something, huh? This, uh, if they don't know, who does know, see? And if they're going to cut your throat, who do you got left to turn to? You don't got no one left to turn to. And wh why should they hate you? You send your kids there to get educated, and then they'll fail your kid and say, if you have derogatory intercourse with the professor, we can get your grades for you. And your child got no choice. And you, do you think for a second they're not doing that? Every one of these same professors are not doing exactly that? You, does anybody really think they're not doing that? You're fucking delusional if you do. 27 day radioactive fallout. The building actually blew up. They, they pretended they got the fuel out of the pool. The professors and academics and scientists, journalists. Worldwide, they all done the same thing. They all came out, yeah, let's cut their throats here, what we're gonna do. International Ener Atomic Energy Agency said, do this, so they did. Cause that's who's behind it all, that's who coordinated. They don't have to listen, but they do. The people in your communities and your medias and your universities and your governments, they don't have to listen, but they do for some reason, don't they? Right, some, somebody's, his parents, should be arrested and jailed for having a child that stupid. Because that's, that's literally stupid. It's the very definition of somebody that's stupid. They definitely shouldn't be allowed to have a driver's license. They shouldn't be allowed to reproduce, for fuck's sakes. They, like, it's, how can you be that stupid? How does that actually work, I wonder? Is, is Does he go to universities where there's professors too, and that's why he's there? Because he's been brainwashed by these degenerate, hateful scum, these human-hating, life-hating scum known as professors? What's he doing there? How can you be that stupid? Really, though, I, I can't wrap my mind around that kind of stupid, that level of fucking stupid. 
UC Berkeley professor, absolutely no correlation with the nuclear disaster, compares eating bananas and drinking water from a nuclear, a Fukushima nuclear plant. CBS, which is the biggest media in, in North America, health officials are investigating radiation levels along the coast near San Francisco after finding higher than typical readings. Because somebody had a really nice Geiger counter and went down to the beaches, find, found high numbers. It was around 1,400 beckles or something. And shot a little video and put it up on YouTube. And all the pro-nuclear scum, the violently, viciously, and relentlessly for days and days attacked them for it. This is a little dike they got a, they're fumbling around with. at the nuclear meltdown site. So everybody who worked on that would have died that week, basically. You see Berkeley professor admits that most of his funding is from the government. And if you don't trust us, who is it you want to trust? Which has got a great point. If you can't trust the universities, who are you supposed to trust or the government? And if you trust the universities and government, you're a fucking idiot. You're a dipstick. You're a moron if you touch if you trust universities and governments. You're actually a fucking moron. If you made it this far in the video, and you still trust universities and academics. You're a fucking idiot. You're, get the fuck off my site. There's no hope for you. If you don't trust us. Who is it you want to trust, says man-made cesium-137, is natural background radiation. So here's the Berkeley professor telling you antipogetic, man-made, doesn't it come from the solar system, it's not, not stardust, doesn't come, it's not created by the sun, it's man-made, it's natural background. See, just one of these pictures should change your whole ideology uh, nuclear, the fact that there's actual a site full of one ton bags of radiation. There's actually over 150,000 sites in 2016, 2017. You see, Berkeley professor said there was no plume. Even though uh, there's many plumes, like a million beckles a square meter was a xenon 133, by the way. But uh, this is a model of TEPCO's plumes uh, from their venting number, not their actual meltdowns. This is NOAA's plume model, for instance, after 40 days. You, and you see, Berkeley took went the extra distance to be evil, didn't it? Like their level of evilness was really something. Plutonium two thirty nine dispersal based on the actual numbers. Evil just comes so natural to them; they can't help themselves, and so we should help them by putting all of them in jail forever. This is France's model of cesium-137 follow based on 30 days at 500 meters above ground. And this is day 22, day 23, day 24, day 25 after the tsunami, for God's sakes. Do you really think they abandon all the communities because it's like a banana or a potato chip or walking in the sunshine? Radiation expert, child cancer risk doubles if exposed to just a couple of x-rays worth of radiation during pregnancy. Not only that, they, uh, they have 50% less chance of graduating school if they get their parents got x-rays when they were... Uh, in conception, right? Um, you see, 
the radioactive fallout and you see the tsunami, how it disabled everything, because you only got a couple of hours to restore power or it melts down. But even today, there's lots of people out there thinking it didn't melt down, despite the fact and the evidence. Almost half of the Japanese women tested showed iodine-131 in the breast milk, highest, highest contamination at 150 miles. No, no, the, the whole planet was covered by that date. Everywhere you go there, there was tens of thousands of one-ton bags of radiation at 150,000 different sites. And just think of the contempt you have for the victims. Federal training manual, the manual, the federal government training manual at nuclear refers to sicken nuclear workers as Freddy Cougars. The manual. Everybody who works there will get sick and die not too long after. You're, you're in a nuclear wasteland playing with absurd amount of radiation all day. You're not from a university, you're not a scientist, you're not an academic, you're not a journalist, you're the homeless, the destitute, the victims of society, immigrants don't speak the language if you're working anywhere in the prefecture. Like the plot of a summer horror flick, all along the Canadian Pacific coast, muscles are dying. Bodies are swollen by cancerous tumors, unprecedented mutations allowing cancer, cancer to spread from one species to another like the avian influenza. Because the avian influenza, the flu, is, being, is the cover story for Fukushima, obviously for the fallout. Muscles are dying, bodies swollen. Muscles don't die of cancer. Cancer doesn't spread to other species like a friggin' virus. Unless you, you're looking at the bigger picture then, to me, unless you're being honest. But pre-Fukushima nuclear meltdown, that statement would be considered uh, insane, right? But now it's the norm. Fukushima is like the worst nightmare becoming reality. Release as much as 1,000 atomic bombs worth of radioactive material. Everybody on Earth has been exposed. And it's such an understatement, though, to say that, right? This, this is, uh, wait now. So the 30th is 15 days after the last reactor exploded. The whole planet's covered in cesium-137. See it up there, uh, way up there, like f three lines above my finger? Cesium-137. So every insect, every bird, every animal, every animal was consuming it, was living in it, was breathing it, was, uh, and still is, exposed to full body x-rays and it's not going away and pretending it didn't happen is the worst possible scenario it's the worst possible thing we could do is pretend this didn't happen and we got to make sure it never happens again so three thousand of these just in one community surrounded by millions of one-ton bags full of a hundred thousand beckles a kilogram but you can't find anything in the communities. That's, that's, that's evil on a different level that I've never even seen in fictional. And fictional is way scarier than anything Hollywood can ever dream up or has ever dreamed up. When it comes to this idiot moron, cow it's a coward industry. The entire legacy of the nuclear industry is predicated upon cowards. By the way, nuclear radiation, the most carcinogenic thing that exists, is not like a banana, it's not like a potato chip. These bags are not full of bananas, potato chips, and sunshine, for God's sakes. 
and that the degenerate, despicable, disgusting, revolting, maniacal, sadistic, hateful, demonic International Atomic Energy Agency admitted on June the 2nd, 2011, there's no such thing as a safe level of radiation. You think that fucking changed in the last 12 years? And that the standards are based on natural, not even man-made. So the standards they're talking about for the water and the bags got nothing to do with the water and the bags. Nuclear physicists suspend the, suspects number three MOX spent fuel rods have spread out the surrounding areas contaminated with plutonium. You can never return to the place. And they, they're growing food in it, right alongside the one-ton bags on top of that dead insult to injury in the nuclear wasteland surrounded by 14 nuclear wastelands. Why aren't you fighting back on this planet? I'm confused. What the fuck are you going to... If you're not going to fight back for this, what are you going to fight back for? What is it you're going to waste your time on if it ever time ever comes? What's fucking more important than this? Disinformation. Disinformation. They got a billion dollars just for the tanks fable that they dreamt up on August the 24th. The same day they stopped me from live streaming on YouTube and Rumble, not by YouTube and Rumble, put by the nuclear industry hacking my systems. I've been live streaming for a decade, five days a week, two hour shows. And now I've got to work almost three times as hard just to do the show each day. Disinformation, perpetual, relentless disinformation by a mob of nuclear, pro-nuclear scum tries and successfully confuse the public about the effects of external, which is usually all they'll acknowledge, if they acknowledge it at all, and internal. Once it's in your body, a single atom. When you put 200 million atoms ahead of a needle, you can't see it. But if one of them gets in your body, it's two billion times more toxic than industrial poison. Your body attacks it for the rest of your life and tries to build a sarcophagus around it, you call it a tumor. But for that decades that it might take for that single atom and to build a tumor by that white blood cells attacking it all day, every day, every time it pulses, which is every second, almost at the speed of light, your body has to also produce white blood cells to repair all the DNA and chromosomes and cells that that pulse of energy done in every direction. Eleven of them, your children will have holes in their hearts. With 50 of them, humans, adults, will have permanent lesion on their organs which your, means your immune system is permanently compromised. You're more susceptible to pathogens and viruses that were normally harmless and innocuous and benign. And if you don't think what I'm telling you is factual, you are delusional. And you better, you better get this fucking right because you got nowhere else to go. You better learn it and you better memorize it because they're going to get rid of me at some point. Disinformation by nuclear proponents try to confuse the public about the effects of external and internal radiation. Once it's in your body, it's sequestered in your muscles, your organs, your bones. For children, it mutates their stem cells, for God's sakes. It mutates their hormones, for good Christ's sakes. Radi you have radioactive hormones, mutated stem cells in the bone marrow all day, every day for your developing children and, and pets and, and animals and birds and insects. Why ain't you fighting back against this evil, despicable, hateful, maniacal, sadistic creature? Go down and mark on the 30 million one-ton bags. Dana's full of shit. Almost 500 
millisieverts of radiation for some in corridors northwest of Fukushima meltdown. That's a half a million microsieverts. And you don't measure internal doses with microsieverts or millisieverts for fuck's sakes. You measure it in physical atoms, becquerels, atomic decays every second. Each atom pulses energy at the speed of light in your body every second, wrecking your organs, your chromosomes, your DNA, and your cells. And at the same time, your body tries to build a sarcophagus around it. The numbers we're talking about, the amount we're talking about, the significance of what we're talking about is this planet better get its fucking head on fuck to get busy and start beating this fucking bastard. You can beat these motherfuckers if you tried, you know. You really think all these models is fear-mongering? They're, they're not even based on the actual inventories from the melted fucking reactors. They're, they're based on venting. And this is not venting, this is nuclear fucking meltdowns. Wake the fuck up for Christ's sakes. What's wrong with you? Why are you silent? Why ain't you kicking their fucking teeth down their throats? Get your fucking asses in gear out there. I already hearing reports of kids suffering heart attacks. Heart attacks. There's one community with over 12,000, or I'm sorry, in one month, there was an excess 12,000 heart attacks. Almost 13,000, not counting everything else, of people dying a spike, an abnormality, and nobody, nobody's curious why. This is not a, this is not a job a nuclear scientist would do because they know better and they're cowards anyway. Dr. Kodama, Tokyo radiation continuously high since raining. Tokyo is continuously high, and so is everything else on the planet. But why would you why why would you eat food from a nuclear wasteland like Japan for? Why would you buy anything from that shithole that's murdering everybody on the planet for shipping billions of pounds of radioactive food worldwide every year to murder us? Why are you taking that like a fucking smuck for? Japan's radioactive children will be fine. Thyroid glands only emitting 35 millisieverts, just 35,000 microsieverts. That's thousands of times past an evacuation zone, and they're getting it in their thyroids, claiming that anything under 100,000 millisieverts, uh, microsieverts, 100 millisieverts. You tell me, physical, every atom is f gonna fuck you up. Every atom, your body has to attack it for the rest of your life. It's not like a cut in your finger where it heals up seven days later and your white blood cell counts go down, your red blood cell rises back up, and you got your normal oxygen nutrition carried through your body. It's permanent. Your body doesn't know what it is, so it attacks it constantly. And because it pulses energy in every direction, so think of 35 thousand times 250 atoms and each one of them atoms is pulsing energy at the speed of your light your body has to repair all the cells that are destroyed and try to build a sarcophagus around it or if it's a bird or an insect but if it's a child then they're producing radioactive hormones on top of everything else you know how many nuclear scientists went down there and got on worked on this? None. You know how many nuclear academics worked here? Not a single fucking one. You know how many nuclear professors were there? Not a single one. You know how many, you know how many times the International Times Energy Agency reported from there? Not a fucking time in 12 years. You know how many times the Nuclear Regulatory Agency reported from there? Not a fucking time in 12 years. They sure put a lot of effort into cutting your fucking throat, though, I can tell you that much. And you're not shaking with anger, there's something wrong with you. Says the head of the University of Tokyo's radioisotope center before testimony about internal radiation. They're growing food in a nuclear wasteland. 
where they're doing this in the farmer's fields. So they can grow food. See those trees are not clean that bit. When it rains, it blows all the radiation immediately back there. And tons of studies were shown that these places are immediately contaminated 24 hours later. Every time it rains, that all washes out to the ocean, by the way. Collusion, like the whole country, every time it rains, is washing radiation out into the ocean. Collusive relationship between the government and nuclear power industry. Collusive. And that piece of shit old Leary, look at that disgusting maggot. Collusive relationship between the government uh, is, that doesn't really do it justice, the word collusive. Conspirators. You really think anybody there is an academic or a professional or, you really get it what's going on there, that these are incredible radiation doses they're getting just from being next to the bags, for God's sakes. Where is this planet's moral compass? And it doesn't, we don't need to do this. We don't need to be like this. Right? You got 80 years of lying, so the lie just gets bigger and fucking bigger every day. And you got to make up, do horrible things to keep the lie from being uncovered. Kyoto confirms 40,000 microsieverts per hour at a supermarket. In addition to uh, multiple spots and probably with over 100 microsieverts per hour. But the disgusting, despicable, hateful new scientist says that 35 millisieverts, 35,000 microsieverts is harmless. But 40,000 microsieverts per hour is considered a disaster. And then thank fuck somebody had the sense to shoot that piece of shit is all I can say. Shinzo Abe. Children living near these fucking disease factories have double leukemia rates. There's 1,800 diseases you gotta look for besides fucking cancer. You need to get your shit together on this planet and you, and you have just ran out of fucking time so get it together. It's the duty of the scientific community to reduce the public's fear and anxiety. Really, that's, I heard it was about educating you and warning you. This is why now you gotta shake off. If you got anybody, your friends that are academics or scientists, then you, you, you got a friend that's a fucking monster. Say no health danger from almost a seaver a year of antipagetic, of actual atoms, physical atoms. Like you can't call it millisievers. You're not getting millisievers unless you're near the fuel rods themselves. Anywhere else you're breathing in physical atoms. You're, it's airborne. That's not millisievers, that's, that's physical fucking atoms. And like they, there should be instant justice for anybody that does that so they don't do it again and they don't teach somebody else the propaganda. There should be instant justice for anybody like that. Government session reveals 400,000 times normal radioactive xenon. There is no such thing as a normal radioactive xenon because it has a short fucking half-life. In Chiba. And the actual figures, which is right alongside of Tokyo, 20 kilometers from Tokyo, the actual figures may be much higher. And that gets into the stem cells, by the way, and mutates your stem cells in your bone marrows. And just go down and mark all of these bags. Dan is full of shit. Radiation's excellent. By the way, xenon's known to dramatically increase lung cancer. Because once it leaves, once it burns a hole through your lung, it sequesters in the bones. I go down to Mark and all of these bags, how fucking wrong I am. Wrong, Dana, wrong, Dana, wrong, Dana, wrong. Wrong, Dana, wrong, Dana, wrong, Dana, wrong. Wrong, Dana, wrong, Dana, wrong, Dana, wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. 
But I don't dance on the bags just do that much, and I'll, and I'll call you guts. There's no chance you'll get me down around those bags. It's zero. I'll claw your fucking eyes out before you'll ever get me near them bags. You'll never see again. There's zero chance you'll get me near something like that. Internal radiation exposure damages the DNA. So does external. It could be outside your house, pulsing through your fucking bedrooms, through the laundry room, and radiating you on the couch every second at the speed of light. You don't need to be internal. Plutonium hot particles are seen in the cells, which is considered a death sentence eventually from the buildup of your body rejecting it constantly 24 hours a day. So we were really riding Tepco's ass a number of years back about the suits. What are they doing with all the suits? So the whole week I was pumping that narrative. And on the last day of the week, the headline came out from Japan Times that Tepco burns 7,000 of these paper suits every day in their incinerators. You got any idea how difficult it is to burn 7,000 of these, gather them all up and throw them in an incinerator? Because once you take them out of the package and wear them, they're no longer a little tiny package. Now they're just a great big fluffy thing, right? Imagine 7,000 of these things. And if they're loaded with radiation because you're in a nuclear wasteland, who got that job? Does, like, first off, it can't protect you. It needs to be four to six feet thick to protect you. You're in a nuclear wasteland, for goodness sakes. It needs to be thicker. What a crazy, crazy world. Like, I've been at this for over a decade straight, running the educational program. There's nobody else out there doing it. Which, what's the point to have an educational program? Nobody else is going to learn <laughs> tell the story, too. Because I thought after a year or something, I might be able to give it up because everybody would have all the facts and I can walk away. I'm still at it all the 12 years later. So if you take reactor th four, which doesn't exist, should have been scrapped right to the ground because there is nothing left. And you take reactor three, cause it, and it should have been scrapped right to the ground. There is nothing left of a 190 foot building. If you take reactor three and reactor four and stack them on top of each other, they're still not as tall as that part right there which is the bottom part right here of the framing for the Kevlar sarcophagus for reactor one, which is a, an identical twin. So when you look at this building here, the bottom rack you're looking at is way taller than the stump of reactor three or the stump of reactor four. And in fact, if you took reactor four and reactor three and stacked them on top of each other, they're still not as tall as the bottom piece. And the fuel pools were at the very top of the buildings. So with the fuel pools at the very top of the buildings and the reactor cores, with no and there's no doubt that building should have been just leveled. But they kept it there, so they put a cover over it and pretend they're getting the fuel out of the pool. That's how evil they actually are. And But for that to work, all the medias and universities are gonna have to go along with it because any descending voices uh, like Greenpeace or anybody else would immediately pull the wool out from underneath everybody's eyes. And there'd be instant regret for the entire nuclear industry. So they were pretty sure there was no one going to provide the documentation and nobody was out there trying to educate you on what was what. It took a long time to figure out what was reactor one, two, three, and four originally. Because there's four reactors melted down. 
some of them detonated, right? And so they would have ejected huge amounts of the reactor cores, like two, three, and four. Uh, one, two, one, three, and four. Uh, the common spent fuel pool is assumed to have been lost. Uh, what shocked me after all these years that has finally drove me insane was all the propaganda machines. Every day we, we do news cycles, on, I'm in shock because every journalist was magically able to tell the exact right lie. So that's not an accident. That's incredibly coordinated, right? But it's humiliating something like that could happen. That how, cor how long has it been that corrupt that they're able to like, you can't go into the towns, but you can go to the nuclear meltdown and work with a paper suit on. You're picking up millions of one-ton bags in the nuclear wasteland, but it's safe to go to ground zero? Because that's the official picture of the fuel pool here of two buildings that don't exist. This is what they came out. This is Rupert Winfield Hayes, who done it both for Reactor 3. Uh, that before and reactor three, the same thing where he pretended he was in building those buildings and they don't even exist. New York Times, coal produces more radiation and death than nuclear. PBS special on Fukushima could have used George Mambiot or the like. Yeah, George Mambiot was uh, vehemently anti-nuclear right up until Fukushima happened. And then he came out and said how great nuclear was and how it survived the tsunami. And it was like, wow, everybody was a little bit taken back by it. And he still like it today. That's the United Kingdom mouthpiece. Speaking of mouthpieces, uh, Miles O'Brien, now known as the one-armed bandit, says cheeseburgers and fries are much bigger risk to our health than cesium. And that Japan's 20,000 microceivers for evacuations is extremely low, despite the fact it was four times higher than Chernobyl. But Miles O'Brien did kind of go to the extreme to manipulate you and deceive you. He even pretended he was in Reactor 4 fuel pool too, right, with a bunch of other ones, the American medias. And Russia media done the same thing at the same time. So, but anyway, go down and mark on these bags. Miles O'Brien is right if you don't understand common sense. Watch PBS's front line. Fukushima radiation, 10% at Chernobyl. 10%. And there's not just cancer. There's heart problems, liver problems, lung problems, respiratory, pituitary, thyroid. Adrenaline, Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, diabetes, Down syndrome, schizophrenia. Fukushima risk underestimated. 5% of the young girls will get cancer. When there's 1,800 diseases besides cancer, living in 20 millisieverts a year for five years. It was actually worse than that. Hot particles are not included and only counts cancer, not heart and liver and lung and respiratory and pituitary and thyroid and adrenaline and Alzheimer's and dementia and autism and dementia. I mean, you know, after nuclear accidents, academics get huge amounts of money to look for Down syndrome and autism. What does that tell us? Serious long-term health effects posed by 10 millisieverts, 10,000 microsieverts of ionizing radiation. But why would you call it millisieverts? It's physical atoms. It's not very helpful to pretend that it's millisieverts or microsieverts that has to be translated into physical atoms. And your Geiger counters can only measure a fraction of gamma. What about the alphas, the betas, and the neutrons that you better start worrying about? And because um, uh, tritium is also a neutron source, right? Greatly, and they produce a massive amount of tritium all year long, greatly increases chances of uh, leukemia, organ damages, and cancers when adding ingestion, inhalation, consumption, washing, showering, doing your clothing, cooking your food, the list goes on. 
from your exposures, it's, it's every facet of your life. But anyway, go down marking these bags, Dan is full of shit. Evidence linking nuclear plants to ill health increasingly compelling. Clear something is going on. And the government blamed unidentified virus for childhood leukemia. And that was in Columbia, right alongside of a nuclear meltdown that's been melting down since 1959. Right, Sellafield. There's 8 million liters a day hemorrhaging into the Atlantic Ocean from Sellafield from a MOX fuel meltdown from 1959 that might never stop. They, they covered up successfully, right? And they are maniacal, the current generation of the nuclear community in, in the United Kingdom. They're, they're fucking maniacal. They're despicable. They're fucking hateful people. So they picked up all these bags at the subway train station so they can open them up, but you can't go across the street or nothing, but that, that apparently is safe. But it's recontaminated within 24 hours to the same or worse. U.S. government secretly injected people with plutonium. Disabled school children were fed radioactive oatmeal. There was 800 pregnant women that they injected with plutonium at doctors and health clinics and or drinks. And they were told these were vitamin drinks or vitamin shots. They followed the 800 pregnant women and any fetuses that died were collected after and were uh, ashed, which is incinerated, so they can sniff the air for the plutonium they injected into them. And uh, even the children, every one of them, the children when they died were dug up later secretively and brought to pay places like Los Alamos National Laboratories where they were ashed, incinerated, so they can sniff the air for the isotopes. Which is nothing, that's just a fraction of the shit that the nuclear industry done when nobody's paying attention. They hate your fucking guts. Face it. It's time to grow up on this planet and fight back. You just ran out of the time. What they've done in Japan, the cover-up of the dumping the water, was so they can just leave the gate open for the next thousand years. Because who's going to... I'm not going to be here in 35 years to pay attention to what they're up to, am I? And guess who's going to be doing it if I don't do it? Shocking radiation propaganda in local TV news near a troubled California nuclear plant. Bananas and sleeping next to somebody and granite and under 100 millisievers a year. Say, well, you can't get 100 millisievers 5,000 miles away. You get uh, 100 million beckles a square meter in your garden every square meter. Because you got that right, right now. You had 220 million atoms per liter fallout of the 129. You had 10 million atoms per cubic meter of cesium-137. You had sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs per cubic meter and square meter. You had the iodine-131 per liter, which comes with 10 times more iodine-132 and 30 times more iodine-133, which are both 10 times more effective ionizing radiating the thyroid gland and a brutally effective 131 is. So bye-bye insects, bye-bye birds, bye-bye small animals, bye-bye anything that's in lakes and rivers and estuaries, bye-bye insects, and there goes the food chain, baby. You know why they got these sections sectioned off? So they can grow food in between them. 70,000 reports of suspected health damage every, every fucking year among German nuclear workers exposed to less than 20,000 microsieverts, 20 millisieverts, which is what they're getting because they're at the physical site, right? And they, they measured the neutrons here in Canada, 150 miles away from a nuclear plant, a kilometer below the granite in the ground. They measured the neutron from the nuclear plant in an experiment last year, right? If you think you're escaping this stuff, you're delusional, and you you got no time left. To, you got no time for sitting on fucking fences. This industry is, is officially gone nuts. It's completely out of control at this stage. 
You, the only way it's going to be reined back in, it's, it's, it's not that easy, it's not that hard. If you had a thousand people just making a little one minute videos even, or five minute videos about this subject, uh, they can't handle that. The public relations firms can't keep up with that. They're, they've been coaxing for 80 years. There is no opposition. We showed up, we're the closest thing to an opposition the industry has ever faced. Sources say about 1,000 kinds of radioactive material released from Fukushima reactors. So it's, it's every daughter of every isotope. And you hear about, every time I hear cesium, I want to slap a nuclear scientist in the mouth. I hate it so much because I've been doing this for so long. It's so dishonest. Uh, you get free, you can get a free, brand new free house here if you're a pregnant woman. Try wrapping your mind around that statement. Residents forced to dump nuclear waste in parks and forest. Well, they didn't have to go very far. The whole fucking place is this big, stupid nuclear wasteland with millions of one-ton bags. What's happened to children 50 kilometers from the disease factories? Nosebleeds, diarrhea, lack of energy. This was the, the royal family. There was two people from the royal family. They're about, they, allegedly, they're about seven miles away. I think they're passing through NAMI. They were seven miles, seven, yeah, seven miles away from Fukushima. And the reporter says, at one point, the royal couple looked in the direction of the Fukushima nuclear power plant, which is about seven kilometers away from them. Like, how can you write a story and actually say that sentence? And then call yourself a journalist? Or even say, you know, visit your friends or your families and tell them you're a fucking human. How does that actually work? Well, nuclear scientists have zero problems with that. But to say that they, at one point, they looked in the direction of Fukushima, if I was sitting alongside of him when he wrote that, I would have punched him right in the fucking mouth. Head of Fukushima Health Study, 100 millisieverts is okay for pregnant moms. What they're gonna, they call them scumbags, right? But they're pregnant moms. Effects of radiation do not come to people that are happy. This is the head of the Fukushima Health Study, for fuck's sakes, saying the effects of radiation doesn't come to people that are fucking smiling. It's the head of Fukushima, the head honcho from Fukushima's health study, a doctor, right? And he was doing a lecture, a presentation, this is what he said. That's where everybody should have gotten through the fucking chair at him. You can't check food this way, run it through a fucking x-ray machine, quantify that it's safe. It doesn't work that way. They do, they do 50 million bags a year. They never find any radiation. Radiation tests on Fukushima preschoolers are bogus, says Japan's professor because they may overlook people really suffering from internal exposure. If you're in the fucking Fukushima prefecture, then you're in incredible danger 24 hours a day, period. And if you're in the Fukushima, uh, in the study areas, that's your, no child so far has been found with internal radiation. The president of a laboratory So they got to drive past millions and fucking millions and millions of one-ton bags of radiation, millions and fucking millions, millions and millions and millions of one-ton bags of radiation to get the samples of the children, take it back to the laboratory, and then claim that there's no adverse side effects. And what, they shouldn't, get, they shouldn't be the perfect people to get the death penalty. How can you pretend this is not real? Not you, you were. 
How can we pretend this is not happening? All, all academics, it appears to me, are insane. How can you pretend that doesn't exist? How can you go past that and say the children are so, somehow fucking safe? How can you be a public relation firm or work for the nuclear industry and think this, this is worth your paycheck every day to, to keep fucking over humanity? So you can get a paycheck and tell your loved ones that you're special. Because that's, that's all that's really happening, right? The people that are suppressing this information <laughs> to do it for a paycheck, they can make better money somewhere else. But they, they like this because that's what they're, they're what they call the silent cowards, the silent murderers, where they seek out these jobs because they take great joy in knowing they played a part in your murder and millions of people's murders, and they will never be found out because cowards that they have to live in. Were TV experts paid to save Fukushima they actually had a leak? Yes, they were. It should be where TV experts paid to pretend they were human, because that makes much more sense, right? How, how long, like, say you're denying everything I say, and how many of these bags does it take for you to, to write on that Dana is wrong before you say, oh, you might have a little, little point. 10,000, 100,000. Um, half a million, a million, how many? Do you know how many bags I would have to write on if I thought somebody was stupid and then they brought me here and I seen all these bags? I'd be like, okay, he's right. You don't have to, don't have to mark on nothing. He's right. Contamination of Fukushima Daiichi now spreading all over the world. 2012. A little bit late to the party, but yeah, it's all over the world. After about uh, 15 to 20 days, the whole planet was covered. It, it doesn't, that didn't matter at all because Japan shipped the food from the nuclear wastelands worldwide, nonstop. And they had tons of help. My goodness, they had tons of help. I mean, this is just a fraction behind me of the media that are pretending they're in the building to the left, 100 feet plus feet above the stump to the left. Should that stump have been razzed to the ground? Is there something functional there? Is there some reason to keep that there? There's nothing left there. If you tore down what was left, which they did, was it just as well to tear down that part too? What was to be gained by leaving that part there? to the left. Well, you can pretend to the right that you're in the pool that don't exist, right? Why was the pool so important they done that? Why did the world's biggest media take a chance and pretend they were in a building that didn't exist? Why did all of them do that? Why did they do that? Why did the editors, the producers, do you really think that they fucking put that on CBS and CB? BBC and CNN and ABC Australia and many, many other medias. Do you really think the people at the studios didn't fucking know that wasn't real? Do you really think that all the people, all the employees at CNN, all the employees at ABC, all the employees at BBC thought it fucking looked like that? No, they're in on it. Do you think all the universities that seen it on TV, all the academics didn't know any fucking better? I'm not angry, that's just me. Six in 10 Fukushima children tested have diabetes. The head of the Tokyo area medical clinic said we're expecting diabetes in children from Fukushima radiation. We're expecting it. 
And what? And guess what? We weren't disappointed. You know why? Because there's millions of one-ton bags. Do you really think you should be dear praying to your ancestors or your loved ones in that graveyard with all these bags right alongside you? You got any idea how complacent you got to be to do something like that? So this picture was after there was a story. After seven years, residents can finally visit the abandoned graveyards in this little community. But they shouldn't have been in that graveyard because they're right alongside of millions of one-ton bags of radiation in a nuclear wasteland, for God's sakes. Inhaling just one radioactive hot particle can cause a cancer. And there's about 100,000 of them per kilogram in each of these bags. So there's 100,000, there's 1,000 kilograms per bag. Thyroid cancers risk last your entire life after your exposure, by the way. Leukemia peaks in a few years. But there's heart problems and liver problems that are, that are lethal because there's, you've got 1,800 disease. You've got literally the textbook or the medical textbook is going to show up in radiation poisoning. You know why they abandon the community? Because it's not like a fucking banana. Any idea how stupid it is to put plastic bags on people's feet wearing paper suits? Look at this. They taped the IAEA just to be scumbags on their shirts. The IAEA never went to Fukushima until this year. They've only been there five times. All of them this year. And these pictures are 2014. How come we don't have pictures of the of Ralphie Old Groshi walking through the town. How come we haven't got pictures of Ralphie Old Groshi saying how fucking safe it is right there? Because you know why? Because it's not safe, is it? Does that look fucking safe to anybody? And anybody here says, oh yeah, that looks pretty safe to me, Dana? You fear monger? Mom Dana's fear mongering. Well, I will. I'm finished for today. Oh, I'll be back here tomorrow night, though. Cutting the rug with the nuclear industry again. Somebody should yell at him, right? I apologize to everybody. A little upset today. Those headlines I've been reading all night and all morning. A little fire under me. I'll go get some Prozac and knock that the fuck out of my system soon enough. Uh, shout out. James Lucid donated 200 Canadian. Bless your heart, James. My goodness. And uh, James put up, uh, got a whole bunch of short artificial intelligence videos about Fukushima at his site, YouTube channel. They're really good. You should check them out. I'll try to remember to play one tomorrow night. We'll see everybody on the next show. Have a great day. It's Sunday. Have a great day. We won't see the sun for another week, so I'm going to try to get an hour of sunshine because it'll be gone in a few hours. We're on to it's um, Sunday evening. I'm going to render this and start uploading it. Get out for an hour. Have a great day. Have a great night. We'll see everybody tomorrow night.